Julie Lee is an accomplished art curator, art consultant, and creative force who has an impressive track record in the film, TV, and art world. She not only finds great art for worthy causes, she creates fundraising events to entertain patrons, philanthropists, and people who like to have a lot of fun. She is the creator of Unite With Art, which is an annual event that raises money for UNICEF Canada. It is my pleasure to welcome Julie Lee back to Studio 4 to tell us more. Thank you, Fanny. Nice Thanks to see you again. Me, and you as well. Yes, I see you're wearing an auction item. Oh or my Or is that for you sale? You noticed. I um, did. I love Pira bracelets. It's on bid on Saturday evening. And it's a beautiful reclaimed silver with 19th century family crests. Ooh. And they all have symbolic meaning, like love, courage, valor. And um, I don't know, Fanny, but I might just have to bid on this myself. You might have to, <laughs> and that's in the silent auction. So it I is. know how the evening goes because I've had the privilege and the pleasure of being at this event. And we, ha we have a great jewelry collection again this year, and I was going to wear them all, but I thought it might be a well, little over the Well, I know top. you have some pearls in the show. Oh, uh, we do. We have pearl a, rings. a Rex Lovato Mobby Pearl, mm. 19 karat white gold that is, um, right. will be custom designed to the to fit the winning bidder. How fabulous, how beautiful. And the um, and there's all a minimum bid and like any auction yes, works, of right? Course. Of course. And the uh, FU cancer bracelet. I don't think we can say rhymes with duck. Yes, I you happen know. to be wearing that as I'm well. I'm wearing mine. Well, this Mine's one. Mine's silver, yours is gold. Yes, it's actually silver with um, 22 karat hand-painted gold. Wow. And it is, there's only three of them in existence and Sarah McLaughlin has one, Lisa Ray has the other. And mm. this is the third, so the lucky um, bidder will yes, have and this. And it also goes, um, the artist who makes it, Susan Fiedler, donates um, a good portion of the proceeds to Inspire Health, which is an integrated cancer Yes, plan. it is. And mm -hmm. it's a great gift, the FU Cancer Bracelet, for mm -hmm. anybody who's uh, on that journey. Absolutely. Mm. Now, Sarah McLaughlin has a piece in the show. She does. She has a fabulous drawing. It's beautiful. Is there anything so she can't do? I know. It's just, I, we hate her. She's just too talented. Yeah, she sings. <laughs> I bet she dances, too. Yeah, and she buys art mm -hmm. as well. And she buys art. Yeah, and she's been a great supporter of this mm -hmm. event. So is Leonard Cohen. Leonard, we have a Leonard Cohen piece this year, yeah. which is fantastic. Called the Red Guitar, right? Exactly, and it's mm. um, one of his wonderful, iconic drawings that he's now um, selling limited editions of. Yes, I've seen some, and they're great. And there's a great book on Cohen, and he's uh, got you know stuff from his journals, all of that. And there's always a little text. It's very intriguing. Tell me about the cause, uh, UNICEF Canada. Why UNICEF Canada? How did it begin? Well, UNICEF Canada is the leading advocate for children's rights mm -hmm. and you know it's hard, it's easy to want to back and support UNICEF. They are, you know, for 60 years have been in, are in now 160 countries and advocating and caring for children through education, health care, nutrition, mm -hmm. welfare. They just are, um, you know, have exceptional programs mm -hmm. and Absolutely. are AIDS yeah. prevention, all of that. Uh, yes, poor children. everything, everything. And, mm. you know, one example is Zimbabwe, where children um, up until recently were sharing, 10 children were sharing one textbook. And now there's a textbook because of UNICEF, um, one for every child sure. for at least five subjects, the you know, major subjects. So, um, yes, they're very, very effective on mm -hmm. the ground organizations, uh, you know, organization with emergency funding and all of, all of the follow-up. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. When you put a show like this together, what's your filter? How do you decide to put in a, a, a John Fluvog piece or a, and you have one. John Fluvog doesn't just make shoes. No, he, d well, he does, but he draws yeah, I them know. first. <laughs> exactly. Well, he probably does many other things. He probably does. Talented. But yes, we happen to have his very first shoe design drawing. It's not, I mean, he drew it in 2011, mm -hmm. but he's brought it back again. He actually showed me the shoe when I was in the, shore, in the store a couple of weeks ago. And it's, um, he's brought it out again. He's, you know, resurrected right. his so first shoe. So this isn't shoe. so much it's an retro. artwork as it's his, it's art. It is art. I mean, his shoes are art. Of course they are. So, you and know, he wearing writes, them. And he writes interesting things on the soles. Uh, yes, he does. Yeah, he does. Well, he had a show at the um, Vancouver mm -hmm. Museum, a whole retrospective of his works. I saw it. It very was talented. fantastic. And it comes with a $250 shopping spree, so you can get a pair of shoes and the drawing. Okay. We like that. Yes, mm -hmm. we do So I'll dig much. out my old flu bogs and wear them to the event. No, you uh, must. Brent Comber, uh, uh, West Coast, 
to his soul. Yeah, fourth generation, amazing um, woodworking artist, and we have a beautiful red cedar um, LED piece. We're looking at so it. When you say LED piece, there's light lit. behind that, yeah, right? Yeah, it's lit, and it's it's wonderful. He's very, very accomplished and mm -hmm. is in you How know, big is collected that piece? in many countries. It's not huge. I think it's about um, 24 by okay. inside, 30 outside? by 24. Could you put it on a deck, or does um, it have to be inside? You know what? It is, I think, laminated, so it could possibly, you wouldn't okay. want to have it in the rain, but I think it could no, work outside. No, and you probably wouldn't want the neighbor to take it. No, you wouldn't. That too. Very or maybe valuable. not your good neighbor, but your <laughs> bad neighbor. Uh, Greg Girard, one of the great uh, photographer artists, uh, photographic artists in our midst. One yes. of my favorite. And mine too. We share mm. similar taste. There he is. Is that Shanghai? Actually, that's Hanoi. That's oh, from Hanoi. his recent series and um, mm. and his recent book that he's mm. this is on his fourth book now. Mm -hmm. And that was from his last show. He had right. a show here at Monte Clark, which was great. He um, lives primarily in Asia now, but he's always back here for shows. Yes, and, and he, very collectible. Oh, highly. Greg Gerard. Highly. I actually have a book. I'll have to sit on my paddle. <laughs> <laughs> Don't let me raise my hand too many times. Well, you uh, won't be sorry. No, I know. But good investment. Yeah, if you they, think they of art as up. an investment, and it sure is yeah. good investment, a Gerard. What about uh, who's Dion Kleiner? Oh, Dion Kleiner, Dion Kleiner is a fantastic sculptor, and he works in clay, and he's recently done this. That's the piece I want. Body of work that is oil filters. Mm -hmm. And I think it's very quirky and um, very contemporary, and it's nice to see people working. In, yeah, you know. so he's got oil filters and some red, uh, some kind of paint, and it's well, sitting on the, recycled are, paper or yes, what? Yes, exactly. Yes, com compacted recycled paper. But th that's the color of the filters. He hasn't painted them. Oh, that's the yeah. color. Of, that's mm -hmm. even better. Yeah, so you can see the numbers, and there's a bit of okra on. This, well, it's you know obviously four sided okay. on the back, and so it's primarily red. But you know mm -hmm. they do different colors of right. oil filters, and it's a great piece. Well, see, what did I know about oil <laughs> filters? It is a great piece. Uh, who else? Let me see. Um, that's called red. There's one called ring. That's Lovato's. It's, oh, we, oh, no, that's the ring. We saw the ring. Yes, we saw the ring. That was Lovato. You talked about that. And then um, who else? Langstroth? Oh, yes, beautiful. He's um, actually a Toronto-based artist, and he uses um, a lot of thick oil and palette knife to create. Right. He sort of dances, abstract, on, he dances abstract. on the edge of abstraction and figuration. And okay. One of my favorite artists. I love his work. And uh, uh, Marchesso? Is it Marcia Show? Marcia Show. Marcia Show. Robert Marcia Show. Robert Marcia Show. But he does beautiful pieces. Yes, he's a very well established, well known, and Canadian well painter. known um, extensively exhibited Canadian painter. He, he paints from memory, which is quite remarkable. He does. He so he does. doesn't take a picture or, is, or yeah, sit in or front of the tree. Air. Yeah, he actually just from you know his experiences and his places. Last year, we had an outstanding piece um, that mm -hmm. was a park in Tunisia. He does trees. Um, outstanding trees. And you, uh, the TV doesn't do that piece justice. No, it has so you. many layers and the colors, and it's really. And two beautiful. of our paintings here, uh, not the Tico Kerr on this side, but the uh, Miriam Oresta. Yes, I noticed yes. those. They're yeah, stunning. she's in the auction. She is. She has a fantastically okay. beautiful piece in the live auction. And Andre Peterson. Andre Peterson. Yes. Peterson. 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 It's, it's two T's, isn't it? Pet oh. I love that. Yeah, isn't it beautiful? It's I love everything in the show. Dancer. This is not good. Uh oh. <laughs> Maybe I should get a cough. No, it is good. <laughs> not show up. Oh, this this is magnificent. Really is. Yeah, it's a beautiful piece. He beautiful captures piece. that sort of split second in time. His pieces are very kinetic and right. lots of movement. Yeah, Andre Pedersen, eh? Mm -hmm. Well, I'm going to put a little mark by that <laughs> in my catalog. So the evening is food, wine, music. Yes, it's a great, we have a fantastic evening planned this year. We have seven amazing restaurants and chefs coming to, um, right. and they donate their food and their time. We have amazing wines from the Okanagan and some fabulous uh, Prosecco okay. from and Italy. Okay, and it's at the Rocky Mountain Air Station. It is, yes. Are tickets available? They still are. They still are. Yes, they are. And I think Great. it's because of the Canucks fever that we've well, not sold out yet. Well, we'll maybe, see how we do maybe that's we true, tonight. but Canucks fever will be over yes. by Saturday night. And people night. will be in a great mood because mm -hmm. we won. So I know, exactly. And it's a great cause. Thank you so much. Thank Fanny. you. See you soon. 
Julie Lee, Unite With Art 2011 Auction and Gala at the Rocky Mountaineer Station in Vancouver.